everybody, this is your girl Benedict Gaffa, aka Empress Dicta V. Keep watching Odata DH TV. Love you. Hello guys, so welcome back to Daily Entertainment Buzz right here on Odati GH TV. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that anytime you drop a new content, you will be the first to be notified. And also don't forget to also drop your comments in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and loved ones. Corona, there is worrying everybody, but mm. you know... You have to you have to find the light in the darkness sometimes. So if you if you want if you if you let it over you, you worry yourself. So you have to make yourself happy. Yeah. So how have you been keeping? Um, as for me, my my I'm not joking with my mic. I'm recording almost always, and so it's not changed. But the only thing is. Um, the whole social distancing thing and all the rules that come with, you know, the virus. So that's the only new thing, but nothing has changed much. I'm still doing my recording and still keeping in touch with friends and family. Great to know you're recording. Is it like you have a studio in-house or you have to step out to go record out of your home? Oh, no. I have I have a little studio set up here in, okay. my, in my living room. So Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. is that what you're showing us? Is that your setup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just the mic and some speakers. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, we right, can but see. It's just, yeah, yeah, just, just the mic and some speakers and a piano, you know. So I have my producer come in, but when he comes, I spray him completely at the door, <laughs> make him wash his hands, you know, do the proper thing before he comes into the house. What do you spray him with, though? Alcohol. Ah! Yes. Yeah, is that what we've been I told? Wet, I will wet. I will wet you before you enter my house. <laughs> rubbing we alcohol or alcohol? Which no, one? no, no, no. Rubbing alcohol. Um, say you know the one the Casa Freco people did. Okay. The one the sanitizer mm -hmm. type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have that in a very big can, in a very big spray can. So when you come, I will, I will spray you down. Make sure you wash your hands at the back of the house. Wow. Before you enter the house. Yes. I see you're keeping safe. But you're welcome back again to the industry. It's just fair Thank that we say you. welcome Thank back. You. Has the response Thank been you. since you returned? Um, it's been really crazy. It's it's been exciting. It's it's been much more than I expected. Mm. Um, even especially on social media. When I post a picture, the comments under are very emotional and I can tell people have missed me and people are waiting for me to do more. So it's exciting. When you say much more than you expected, do you think that we're going to neglect you when you return? Ah, Ghana is not a, it's not an easy country. You don't just get up and leave and expect to come back and everyone is giving you hugs and kisses. People will forget you. So it's happened to a lot of people. So for it not to happen to me <clears throat> and for me to receive more love, even this time around, is, is something else. So we talked about Sheriff, uh, when you're here with Bella, it was one of the songs that you, it was a song that you premiered when you came here. Yeah, then later you did, yeah. Who Are You? That mm -hmm. came to us as a surprise. Yes. What really were you trying to talk about in that song? Oh, it's, it's, it's just one of those witty songs. Um, you know, I'm, I'm viewed as more of a serious uh, person. So sometimes I like to put some fun in what I do and... Who Are You did just that. It's a very fun song. It's talking about an old man who is stalking a small girl and the girl is telling him, no way. Yeah. Okay, so now I get it because people say, oh, this is adult content. But Miss V is just trying to play it very well so that we don't get to see the adult content in the song. Oh, what is adult content about the song? It's just a fun song. It's just a fun song. I see. But when you release that one, why, did you have intentions to release extra before Corona came our way? Um, yes, and I'm still going to release. Um, Miss G, I spoke to you on radio, was it yesterday? On Saturday, on Saturday. On Saturday, yes. And I told you I was in South Africa right before the whole coronavirus thing happened. Mm -hmm. And I was there with movies to shoot a video. So I'm about to release that one, um, myself featuring movies. And then I have other songs I shot videos for. So I'm really prepared, but it's just about...
the time and when to release this, these uh, songs and their videos. Talking about movies, I know the conversation is about to get more interesting. And let's dwell a bit on Who Are You. Now, it's a song that mm -hmm. you released earlier in the year. It came with some yes. controversies about, you know, the theft of the reading that MOG Beat has sold that beat to somebody. That's ZTM. That's what they're called. How did you receive that news, though? Um, it was a bit of a confusion, but I think we've cleared that up now um, because I bought the, the beat. I have receipts for it and the others the the other musicians they they didn't buy it they don't have receipts for it so i think we cleared it right away you're sure they didn't it buy it because they were on radio speaking to us about how they also paid for it outright and then they should show receipts because this whole time they don't have you know anything to show for the fact that they said they have bought the song so mm. i'm just i'm just going with what i've got yeah but did it, did, it, did it get you into a state of thinking, next time when I'm going to record or anybody sending me a beat, I would have to seal a deal so that nobody comes to me tomorrow to say I've stolen their beat and you know, all the Definitely, definitely. I have to be more careful because I don't want any situation like this happening again. So next time I have to do my homework even better. Yeah. Now, also, after you return, there's been conversations <laughs> about how you were received by even your female colleagues in the industry. Okay. Did you feel like... What was the conversation The about? conversation is like, oh, she, she, she got back. We don't see everybody showing her love, sharing her pictures and saying, welcome back, Miss V, and blah, blah, blah. That they didn't see people showing me love. Yeah, no posting your pictures and saying that, welcome to you, uh, welcome back to the industry, blah, blah, blah. Wow, I, I, I haven't heard that. This, this one is very new. Because, but is that um, what happened? No, that's not what happened because since I got back, the love from the industry is even surprising me. The love from the industry, from yourself and your colleagues, from people who are coming to come actually. their shows, and and then even musicians who have called me to say congratulations, welcome back. Um, maybe they didn't. Not all of them posted, but I mean, they've called me to say congratulations and welcome back. So I, I definitely felt the love. So I haven't had this one. This one is new. It came as a, when we're having a discussion about, you know, females in the industry. They talk about mm -hmm. females being their own enemies. And so when we're talking yeah. about women empowerment, the same people who talk about the women empowerment are the same people who are backbiting and the same people who are destroying each other. <sighs> I, I, I don't know about going into all of that. All I know is love came from both sides, from the fans, from the industry. From, no, we've moved away from um, that. I'm saying that the conversation... Yeah broadly was on women empowerment uh -huh. that we keep talking about helping females in the industry and giving oh, them the opportunity the interview with you yes okay and they say the same people who talk about the women empowerment are the same people who are backbiting each other and pulling each other down uh-huh Oh, you haven't gotten the question. I'm asking... No, if what, are you, what, 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 what is the question? <laughs> the question is, is question? we're always saying that the females need some assistance better than the men. We need to be a par with them. And the yeah. women are pushing for equality in the industry, which is true, uh -huh. right? Yes. So I had Socrates, I had Bulldog, and I had um, Rick with me in the, in the studio. And they said, these same women who are in the industry mm -hmm. calling for women empowerment after you spoke yes. to us on radio, are the same ones uh -huh. who go about pulling each other down. And I'm asking you if that is anything to go by, if it's true. Oh, it's definitely true. And I don't think it has to do with only the females in the industry. I think it's the industry in general. Um, but yeah, the women don't really support each other. And that brings me back to my birthday last year, where I invited over 100 women just because of what we are talking about um, because I feel we should get together more. We should collaborate more. We should, we should be in front of the situation people are talking about now. We should, we should make it a useless case. If I should say we can do this. So last year, my birthday, I decided to just invite different women from all walks of life for us to just have fun and not do anything about work, just have fun and socialize. And I think we should keep, um, something like this up just to make sure that we do well in the industry. It will really help. 
Again, from that interview after you left us on radio, uh, Socrates says, look, it's lack of confidence. Women in the industry do not lack, conf uh, lack confidence, and they shouldn't mm -hmm. always cry to be given equal opportunities because nobody gave the men the opportunities they had. They had to fight for it. Huh. If, you, if I have anything to say about this, I'll just say it's sort of a natural order. It, it, it comes from a lot of things natural order it comes from culture it comes from so many things that the women are always like below the men so in every industry you even see that for you to even see a female ceo it's hard it hardly will you even see that so um as for the crime we have to cry people have to pay attention and i think we should just really support each other more yeah we are blessed to have a female CEO here. And, uh, and let's talk about you and Moogies. There were a lot of talks about you <laughs> when that picture went viral. I know you've told me something on radio, but I believe that some people on TV haven't heard that already. Okay, so um, Moogies and I are about to release a video, I mean a song, and that's why I... we were on our way to South Africa. So in the plane, we just had a bit of fun and we took pictures and I posted one and people took it as we are dating, but we are not dating. We are just brother and sister in Christ. And people, brother and sister <laughs> in Christ, <laughs> people say it was a strategy to get some attention, to get headlines, to get people, you know, talking about the brand Mizzy. No, it was no strategy, not at all. It was just an ordinary picture I posted, and people decided to think about the picture the way they are thinking about it. There's nothing to that picture. In hindsight, wouldn't you have posted now that you're about to release a song with him? Are you sure you're going to get the same buzz that you got with that picture? The song is good. People will definitely like to see a Moogies and a Misby feature song. So the picture has nothing to do with this. People will genuinely want to see this video and want to hear the song. So I believe they'll do well. When are we hearing the song? Hmm... Uh, should be third week next month. Third week next month. That's third week of May. Yes. yes. So about 22nd. I'm still trying to figure out the date, but it should be about 22nd. Now, when I decided to have this interview with you, I went online and I mm -hmm. googled Ms. V. And let me tell you what happened. Now, it gives me a start of you, but I realized okay. that... Your record label, which is your former record label, is still there uh -huh. until I decide to open for more. I have your record label there as the record label you're working with. Aren't you worried that okay. if somebody from outside decide, has heard your song and decides to Google Miss V, <coughs> they see Lynx uh -huh. Entertainment there as the record label you are with? Uh -huh. You're not worried where, about that? Where did, you, where did you see this? On Google. <coughs> On Google, that yes. I'm still with Lynx Entertainment. So you didn't say you're still just record label. So I'm guessing. I'm 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 guessing. I'm guessing it's maybe one of those old. Um, it's like an old information that's on the internet. You know, information doesn't go away from the internet. So I'm guessing it's still there. But if you do type Miss B today, you will see that, and then you will see new Miss B. So it will be new a Miss B. How? But you can't. But you can't. But you can't. I don't think that can go off the internet. I don't think so. Because I'm worried that if I was, say, somewhere in the world and I'd heard the song from Miss V and I want to mm -hmm. know more about her and I type Miss mm -hmm. V and I sh I'm, I'm mm -hmm. seeing that until I ask for more, that's the first mm -hmm. thing I see. And it's not like former record label or something, just like record label, Lynx Entertainment. And so I, 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 have, I have been with Lynx for seven years of my life. There's, there's so much that has gone on the internet from that time so it's definitely the majority i'm now starting a new chapter so yeah it's it's going to be a build-up it will take some time but it will get there well i was just looking at the business aspect of it how people would have to divert your business or maybe go look for you somewhere i, I don't i don't i don't think it will worry business at all because there are instances where people have wanted me for say, a show or for me to do a video for something. And I get a call from Lynx saying okay. someone wants you to do this okay. or someone wants to meet you. So, so the relationship so is that, 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 um, um, that it's well. Cordial. It's cordial, rather, between yes. both of you so that they can still call you and say, oh, somebody reached us and said they wanted to. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks yeah. for spending some time with us this morning. Uh, 
we are grateful for having me. that you, you oh, made hold up. Hold on a second. I, I want to say a big shout out to Team Miss V. They are watching right now. I just discovered a group of people just created this WhatsApp group and it was all about me. I discovered this a few days ago. So I want to say a big thank you to them and more things to come this year. I are you in you that group so monitoring what is happening though? Definitely. Mm. We hope that we don't see something that comes out from, from Team Miss V that doesn't represent Miss V. No, they won't do that. They love me too much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we are grateful that you made up to join us this morning. Thank you too. All right, so that's uh, Ms. V speaking to us there. But let me tell you about Go TV. And it says your loyalty to the Go TV family is why we are giving you a free upgrade on your next package. Simply stay connected and get upgraded to the next higher package.